Aloha everybody. So in order to provide you a, a spot in which to place the items for this lesson three that you'll be creating, uh, I would like everyone to modify your course with a course content area titled My Content. Okay. If everyone has a button on their menu, and this is the menu, okay, this is uh, the course I'm in right now is called Tim's Test Course. This is what we call a sandbox. It's sort of a place that we use uh, to allow people to play around with um, and uh, another, a, a site that we use for teaching people how to use Blackboard, okay? Your course will obviously look a little bit different with a different menu, but the menu is on the left-hand side, whatever color it happens to be, and I'd like everyone to create a button called, uh, called My Content, okay? So if you mouse over this plus sign up here, click on the course, you'll see that a menu, a drop-down menu will show up, and the first item in that drop-down menu says Create Content Area. If you click on that, you can type in My Content, and then it's important to click Available to Users. That means that the button will show up to anyone who's logging onto your class. If you don't click this, then the button will be hidden and we can't view what you're making. So My Content, Available to Users, Submit, and then right down here, it, def it defaults to the bottom of the menu. There's a little gray icon. I will increase the size here. You see this grayed out icon there. That shows you that there's currently nothing in the folder, which makes sense since you just created it. These two arrows over here, if you notice, the up and down arrows, this is where if I grab onto it with the hand, I can move this anywhere I want. So I'm going to move it just up towards the top doesn't necessarily matter where you put it since it's called my content but just letting you know that when you create a content button okay a place in which to organize content you can move it anywhere you like okay so uh, please do this and uh, that is the first assignment in lesson three